Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel once again. In this video, I am going to discuss about SQL scenario based interview question and answer part 64. First, the problem statement. There are two tables namely job positions and job employees table. So job positions tables has the columns uh, ID, title, groups, levels, pay scale and the total post. Job employees table has columns ID, name and position ID. The ID column of the job position table refers to the position ID column in the job employees. So now let's come back to the problem statement once again. It says that write an SQL query to get the expected output as shown in the next slide. I will be visiting next slide very soon. Uh, basically it should display not filled posts as vacant along with the details of the employees. So if you see the job position table for a uh, general manager position we have only one total post and uh, for that post we have already uh, employee working that is John Smith. For manager position we have total post as five but if you see in the table job employees we have only three employees working so two uh, positions are vacant for the manager title. Similarly for assistant manager we have total position as 10 and out of which 10 you can see uh, total six are all six employees are already working and four posts are vacant. So if we go to the next slide so this is the expected output. You can see the first uh, the general manager has only that only one post and that John Smith is already working for that. Now for manager positions, we have total five uh, posts out of which three people are already working and two are vacant. Similarly, uh, for assistant manager positions, we have total 10 posts and out of which six are uh, six employees are already working so only four are left. So this is what we have to populate in the expected output. So uh, let's see how we can do this in SQL Server. Before proceeding to the solution, let's see our input table once again. So let me fire both the input table. So here you go, you have both the table. Now if you will observe this table, job position table, there is a column called total post. Based on the number of, uh, based on the values of the, this total post column, we are going to uh, replicate the number of rows. So what I mean to say is that uh, for the row ID equal to one, total post is equal to one. So I am going to replicate this row uh, uh, only one time. For the second uh, ID, uh, we have total post is equal to five. So I am going to replicate this row five times. For the third ID, uh, total post is ten. Uh, so I am going to replicate this um, into, uh, in this row 10 times. So total how many uh, total, how many records will be there in the output table? 10 plus 5 plus 1. So 16, uh, uh, 16 uh, row will be there in the output. So how we are going to achieve this? We, we will be achieving this by using recursive CTE. So we will we'll start with, with clause with recursive let's say we'll give some name recursive ct underscore job and then as and then i'm going to open the parenthesis after that first the, what is the first thing we are going to write in the recursive ct the first thing which we are going to write is the base query or the anchor query so i'm going to write select star from table name is job underscore positions now i'm going to replace a star with uh, uh, all the column names so first is id column and then we have title column and then we have groups column and then we have levels column and then we have pay scale column and then we have total post column and after this i'm going to derive one more column and I want to populate that value as one first. So I'm going to give one as, and we'll give column name as rank. So this this query will serve as the base query or the anchor query, okay? 
now after that we are we will have to use union all and then i have i'm going to select the same column name sorry same same column name but here the we are going to we are going to uh, select the table name as recursive city job instead of job position and i am going to increment the value of a rank over here rank plus 1 and then i am going to use where clause where rank plus 1 should be less than equal to total posts so this is the condition if the condition is met then only the loop will work and that value will be populated once this condition is not satisfied the loop will end and it will not populate so i am going to close the bracket and let me select star from recursive ct job table so here you go you, you we were able to replicate based on uh, row based on the uh, value of the total post so this was one so only one time this row came uh, for manager uh, it was uh, uh, you can see total post is 5 so one record is here and another record uh, four records are here and then uh, for uh, assistant manager total post is 10 and you can see all are here so we were able to finally get all the 16 records in the output table now what is our second job our second job is to populate the employee name along with it so suppose for a general manager we have uh, uh, we have only one employee working so uh, that name uh, employee name should be here for uh, assist for manager position um suppose only three are uh, employees are working so for those three should name should be reflecting and remaining two should be populated as vacant so how to do that so we can do that by for that first let me write another cte so let me start cte underscore m e m p as and i'm going to open the parenthesis and here i'm going to write select a star from and at this time the table will be job employees and then i'm going to replace a star with all the relevant columns so uh, for that first let me fire this table let me know what are the column names so we have id column and then we have name column and then we have position id column so uh, these are the three columns in this table after that i am going to derive another column uh, for that i am going to use row underscore number and i am going to use over clause and then i am going to partition by partition by partition id sorry position id and then order by id and we'll give alias as rank 1 because i have already used rank over here so we'll go use give rank 1 and then i'm going to close this bracket now after that what i'm going to do if you if you if you run this let's see what i have i have uh, i have done this why i have run then this for this each position id we are doing we are creating a rank so for for a job id 1 we have only one position and therefore we have rank as only one for position id equal to 2 within this 2 we have created rank that is 1 2 and 3 similarly for job position uh, for uh, position id equal to 3 uh, we have created a rank which starts from 1 to 6 now what we will do we are going to join this table ctemp table and recursive ct job table 
uh, on the position ID column and the rank column. So let's see. Now I'm going to write select. So what are the columns we need to display? We need to display all these columns. So I'm going to select this. Since ID is present in both the table, we'll have to give some alias over here. So from first we'll give the this table rec underscore ct underscore shop and we'll give alias as let's say rec only and we'll give here rec dot id and then i'm going to use left outer join with this table and we'll give alias as uh, let's say emp and i'm going to join on the condition rec dot for this we have id equal to emp dot position id and one more condition we have rec dot rank is equal to uh, emp dot rank one now what we have to do we are uh, we have done done a join over here and we have to populate name as well right so we are going to select name name will be coming from the employee table and then we have to order by id so order by id and then we will have to order by rec id we will we'll give this and we can give rec dot rank now let me run this piece of code now you see that uh, for general manager we have the one available employee his name is reflecting for manager position where we were having total five posts and out of which three employees were present so their name is reflecting and two are not present so their uh, instead of name null is coming so we can get this um, populated as vacant so how can we do that we will be using coles so let's write c o a l e s c e and then we are going to populate vacant instead of null now let me run this full piece of code and let me give the idea that was employee name Here you go. You got the expected output, right? You can see he, over here for manager position, we have two vacant position. For assistant manager, we have four vacant position. So this is how we can uh, we can use CT, recursive CTE to solve this problem. If you have liked this problem, please do like it. And if you know by any other way you can solve this problem, please write in the comment section. Thank you.